Hello everyone, welcome to Philosophical Study. Thank you for connecting this channel. And I hope you all are well. I am back again with a combined topic of normative ethics and meta ethics. Today we will first discuss little, then we will practice all the previous year questions. So let's start. Before going to uh, discussion, join Telegram channel Philosophical Study. Link in description box. Free ebooks, free notes, previous year questions. And if you have some difficulty to open the link, please go to Play Store, then search Telegram app, then install and login. After login, search Philosophical Study, then join. If you new in my channel, then subscribe my channel and press the bell icon and never miss an update. And after I complete the session, I will provide the PDFs of the class in Telegram channel. And I hope you all are doing really well. So let's begin. Ethics or Noitikta. Uh, ethics is referred as the main branch of philosophy. Uh, ethics is said to be the system of moral principles which affect how people make decisions and lead their lives. Ethics is concerned with what is good for individuals and society it is also described as moral philosophy the term ethics is derived from the greek word ethos which means custom habit character or disposition and it includes various forms of goods right duties obligation and concepts like egoism Universalism, Kant's moral theory, and utilitarian principle. Ethics covers such dilemmas, uh, how to live a good life, and our rights and responsibilities, and the language of right and wrong. And the concepts of ethics have been derived from religion, philosophies, and culture. Uh, nowadays, uh, philosophers have a tend to divide ethical theories into three major domains uh, meta ethics, normative ethics, and applied ethics. Meta ethics deals with the nature of moral judgment, it looks at the origins and meanings of ethical principles. And normative ethics is the study of ethical action. And it is the branch of philosophical ethics that investigates the set of questions which arise when considering how one ought to act. The central question of normative ethics is determining how basic moral standards are arrived and justified. And normative ethics is concerned with the content of moral judgments and the criteria for what is wrong. And applied ethics deals with the controversial topics like war, animal rights, and capital punishment. And applied ethics is a general field to, of study that includes all systematic efforts to understand and to resolve moral problems that arise in some domain of practical life. As with medicine, journalism or business or in connection with some general issue of social concern uh, such as employment equality or capital punishment. Uh, okay, and now we will practice all the previous year questions of anti net. And, and you have to read all the options and choose the correct answers within 10 seconds and write in comment section how much you have choose the correct answer so let's begin Okay, first question is, uh, December 2018, 
considering the following statements in the light of Kant's maxim of morality and mark the correct option. And the answer is D. All of the above. Next question is Which one of the following is true regarding the objective of deterrent theory of punishment? And the answer is A. To prevent the offender from repeating crime and other also from committing crime. Next question is. Who among the following holds the view that autonomy is the basis of the dignity of human and of every rational being? And the answer is C. Can't. Next question is Which one of the following theories regards moral judgments as expressions of the subject's approvals and disapprovals? And the answer is B. Ethical Subjectivism. Next question is, who among the following maintain that the knowledge of moral laws is obtained through practical reason? And the answer is A. Can't. Next question is Men are not hanged for stealing hearts so that hearts may not be stolen by others can be attributed to. And the answer is D. Deterrent theory of punishment. Okay, next question is The goodness of an action is determined by its consequences. Is the theory attributed to? And the answer is D. Teleological. Next question is According to Kant, moral laws are And the answer is A. A priori based on reason. Next question is According to which one of the following views value judgments are essentially imperative? And the answer is C. Prescriptivism. Next question is the aim of deterrent theory of punishment is
and the answer is a to prevent future act of crime and next question is what origins from external comments which one of the following maintains it and the answer is c hedonism next question is which one of the following is a statement of naturalistic ethical theory and the answer is b the good is desirable and next question is john is punished not because he has stolen the sheep but for others may not be steal it this statement belongs to which theory of punishment and the answer is b preventive next question is which one of the following provides the metaphysical ground of morality and the answer is c immorality of soul next question is which one of the following theories holds the view i for an i and the answer is c retributive theory next question is consequence of action is the basis of moral judgment which one of the following holds this view and the answer is a hedonist next question is in kantian ethics an objective principle of action is called and the answer is d an imperative and next question is punishment is inflicted on a criminal in order to reform or educate him is the view of following theory and the answer is c reformative theory of punishment next question is which one of the following is consistent regarding moral judgment and the answer is d it is a normative judgment and i hope you all are enjoying the session uh, please like the session and comment and never miss to share the video because sharing is caring and lastly join telegram channel philosophical study and thank you for watching the video and stay tuned for next video